Access and specializes in top quality hosting for all types of clients, servers with faster pings and web hosting for lower prices. All on top of the line hardware and prices starting at $4.95 a month. Visit Excessive.com for details. No one exceeds like Excessive. Thundercats host! Sorry, I had to get that one out there. Hi guys, I'm Dave Warrior Willig, and you're watching Ponus TV. We're going to be bringing you some Cal Open Pacific Finals here tonight for Counter-Strike Source. We got, uh, excuse me, we got Amp Gaming versus Sweatshop, okay, uh, under BKS. I wonder what that stands for. It's curiosity, but it's okay. Uh, our first map tonight is going to be Inferno, followed up by Mill, and then the third map is still yet to be decided. Uh, so we're going to be looking at some great games. I'm going to give a quick shout out to our sponsors for this match and this cast is brought to you by TGLeague.com. For fun games and prizes uh, under the sun, go to TGLeague.com. It's a free league and you can win some money. It's beautiful. Also, I want to shout out to Steve, excuse me, to Excessive Gaming. I don't know why I said Steve. Uh, I guess I was shouting out to Steve, uh, Captain Howdy. But anyway... We're going to give a shout out to Excessive Gaming, uh, Excessive.com, for all your business game hosting needs, any solutions you need, designs, they got it running, they got servers, ventrilos, everything you need to get your team or company started up, Excessive.com, and finally the Steel Series, okay, Steel Series has excellent products to make you go from Joe to Pro in approximately 3.5 nanoseconds, yes, you heard me, 3.5 nanoseconds, they will take you from Joe to Pro, giving you excellent mices, my, mouse pads, uh, the gaming glove, audio peripherals like headsets, audio cards, anything you need, they got it. All right, I'm gonna hand the mic now over to my good co-caster with us, who's gonna be Leo Geo Two. He's also our cameraman, and on shoutouts we have Brandon the Borg Freeman. All right, I'm actually gonna run it quickly as they go to uh, screenshot around to Borg, so we can tell you how to uh, get your sh shoutouts in. Hello, I'm off the camera. And the mic. I'm on the shout out. What you gotta do? IRC.gamesearch.net, poundpoints.tv. I am PTV the Borg. Shout outs. Send me a message. I'll get out there. Everybody hear what you gotta say. As long as it's not vulgar and clean, I'll do it every day. All right. All right. So there it is. We got a screenshot round going. I'm gonna pass the mic over to Leo so he can give you maybe a little his opinion on the map and uh, et cetera, et cetera, as he's uh, chatting it up with our CS. Our Cal admin, who I'm going to give a little shout out to, Nicholson. What's up, Nicholson? Welcome. Thank you for being our Cal admin in this match. Uh, also, Leo also has control of the Source TV camera, so he's got pressure on him. Well, those folks who are in the Source TV right now. This <laughs> oh, Nicholson thinks I'm going to fall for that one. He told me to press F10 for Archon status. Jerk. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, those people who are up in the Source TV should be watching our stream, and uh, my voice. <clears throat> it's kind of out of it because for the last uh, three days I've been playing a crap ton of rock band with a lot of people and Smash Brothers Brawl, you know, for money. So, yeah. <laughs> and I think the game is going live right now. So, look, yep, good luck, have fun. They're being uh, tossed around by Ant Gaming and the uh, BKS as they are initialed, even though that's not really their name. So, I'm going to be taking it for the first round. Because I don't, I basically feel like taking Thunder away from Wari. I'm gonna check it out from Ant Gaming's. Actually, I have no idea how to say his name. Guyan. I'll just silent the N. <laughs> from Ant Gaming's Guyan. Skipping around a little about be going to the banner. Whoa, he is lagging quite a bit. Or that's just probably me. But uh, I'm seeing some good skipping coming from out of him. Ant Gaming's Crunk already get, uh, gets killed by DZK. New uh, Guyan is going around a banana right now. Throws a flashbang right up. And uh, flash not really hitting anybody because well. He actually walked around the corner. Let's shift off of him and go check out M Gaming Z, who has an AK in hand and the bomb in his back, moving up through mid, about to head towards the right side, trying to get into bomb site B. Uh, the, the looks like there'd be a CT from the left side as he's spraying down through the corner, and a nade goes right next to him and lands right on him. Hits him for 40 damage, he's not a 60 health, and he gets taken down by Black Dragon. who has a very creative looking name. Black Dragon spraying down, taking down Gripset as well, and Claiborne. Or Claborn taking on Bounty. Black Dragon with another kill taking on Guya and getting a triple kill that round. Gets actually shot himself, but he's alright. But right now, BKS is winning the first round. One to nothing in this match. 
You know, I'm going to watch from Amp Gaming Strip Set. As you know, last round they actually did something interesting that I didn't even know about on Source, which was the bells. Uh, looked like they were playing little musical instruments in the in their spawn. You know, just playing uh, just playing some bells. You know, shooting them. As I'm going to watch Drip Set as he's coming up alt middle right now, cl crossing over in the middle, kind of spraying nothing. Now he's going to work his way over towards apartments. And it looks like we're going to be seeing a little bit of a split here. Um, for those of you who don't know Inferno, Inferno is a big split map as Dripset's going to spray and miss his kill and then finally get it on Jia uh, on top and Jia is actually going to have traded it back on top of Bounty but uh, that's okay because now we have a 4 on 4 situation uh, so we're going to see a little bit of a fake here as I see two terrorists walking up Banana right now but I'm still on Dripset since it does look like the bomb's going to be coming up middle he's going to be throwing a flash out uh, checking his corners, checking the site, he doesn't see anyone, he's getting shot at actually over from the library side and he gets taken down by Claiborne and Nugent's going to take out DZK right there as I'm flashed watching Nugent right now Excuse me, as he's, looks like they're going to be taking the B-bombs, excuse me, the A-bomb site. They switched them up on us uh, here in Source. As Nugent's going to get taken down by Black Dragon. His bomb is coming in and being planted by Z uh, right here by this little grate and hitch well. I'm not sure really what you want to call that, but he's going to get sprayed out. Krunk's going to take out JMR, and uh, Z is going to trade it back on uh, Black Dragon. Claiborne is the last one, so I'm going to switch it over to him as he's throwing flashes into the site. He's got a two-on-one uh, clutch situation here. He's going to have to step it up and kill both, but he doesn't. He looks kind of the other way, and Krunk just comes out and takes him out with a nice little headshot. So, you know, the score is now 1-1, trading kills here. It's not like 1.6, and I say this every time we have a source match, but most of you know this. In 1.6, you have to save your money. Um, first couple rounds are pistols, but not in Source. In Source, you can just buy right away $16,000. So it's going to be a lot of back and forth action, and uh, it's going to be a good match. You know, it looks like we're both having problems pronouncing his name because you said Nugin, but his name doesn't look like Nugin. In fact, the letters are kind of flipped over, but I guess it's Nugin if uh, you decide to say it. And Borg is saying that it's New Yin, uh, apparently. And Claiborne doesn't have a Y in his name, so it looks like Claiborne, but Claiborne sounds better. And I was actually just <laughs> uh, corrected an IRC from uh, Ryota from Amp Gaming saying that it's pronounced New Win, not New Game. Alright, so uh, that pretty much clears that one up. As I'm going to take it right back into the action of these here. Drips had already given the first kill on Claiborne and DZK, getting an off kill on New Gain. Or new win. Damn G's. Taking up Crunk right now who just gets rushed by JMR and gets taken out with a point blank M4 headshot. And JMR gets killed by Bounty in return. Taking a drip set right now. He's only got three health. And it looks like Game Gaming did manage to take over Bomb Site B. Completely surrounding it right now. They've got a 3v1 advantage. I'm going to take out the last member of B BKS right now who is... Uh, Moving around with an off coming from CT spawn, trying to hit the bomb site B. Might try to pull off the clutch over here. Got to see if he's going to be able to do it. But it looks like the left side, the little stairwell that's over there, is completely smoked up as he's trying to head into this uh, apartment over here and misses what no shot that was going to happen. And Z comes into his face and takes him down with an AK, making it right now a two to one advantage. Alrighty. <laughs> Yes, as my little chat with Nicholson, it's called Library, Notice the Books. Uh, I'm going to watch it from Bounty, since he's our UPS man for this round with a bomb. Actually, he's not. He's going to pass it off. It looks like we're going to be seeing a nice little B banana rush here. Uh, excuse me, A rush, but it's banana um, for all of you Source fans. This is Bombsite B, not A, but anyway, we'll continue. I'm going to watch Bounty as he's coming into back alley right now, waiting by this truck, waiting for rotators. Nicely done, Crunk getting the first kill on JMR as they take the site. Nicely done, and Bounty sees a flash go by, uh, excuse me, or a nade. He sees someone coming and he sees him and he sprays him down getting one, uh, but unfortunately he gets taken out by Jia, as I'm going to switch it over to Z, as he's going to have to try to defend this bomb site right now, shooting into the smoke. Jia taking out New Win. Yes, New Win, I pronounced it right, not Nugan or Nugget, New Win. As I'm going to actually switch off uh, onto DKZ, who actually just gets taken down by Z, uh, and Dripset taking out Claborn. So now it's a one- on five, four, three, two. Never mind. It's a zero situation right there with Amp Gaming winning another round, three to one in favor of Amp Gaming in the Cal Cal O Pacific Finals uh, here on the first map on Inferno. The yeah, concern of both of these teams are ten two. It looks like uh, at the moment Amp Gaming has shown themselves to be uh, the better team, but I mean they're it is, it is you know just playing uh, T side though. I think that the map is C T side, so it doesn't look that good. Uh, on paper right now with the T's are up three to one but I'm gonna check it out from the angle of uh, let's just switch off of Ant for a bit I'm gonna check out switch shops yeah 
He's using an M4 right now, checking up mid, smoking it up, throwing a couple of flashbangs. He's now moving right back towards B, hopping around all over the place. Has a deagle in the side pocket, so he's ready to pop a couple of people in the face. And he does see somebody up in the apartment, so he's now spraying through the walls to try and get a pick. Kaborn rushing right through, taking on Dripset, so he's making a bit of a retreat. And here comes Bounty, who won the jab right in the side of the head. Ow! Completely cold, and here comes Nguyen. New win. <laughs> Moving right up through mid gets uh, grazed a little bit by some bullets that were going at him. And right now, M Gaming does have full control of bombsite B. But right now, it is a 3v4 in favor of, well, I was going to say Sweatshop. But here comes M Gaming taking out two of the members of him. And Z getting a double kill in his zone, taking a Kaborn JMR. I'm going to take out the last member of Sweatshop, who's DZK. He's moving around, trying to go towards bombsite B, but at the moment he's going to be surrounded. Rushes right into the crunk, taking him out in a single shot, and he's trying to spray right towards the apartment. He does see another terrorist right up there, and he's trying his damnedest to take him out, but he gets taken out from the side by Amp Gaming Z, getting surrounded. Could not do much from that point, and it's another round for Amp Gaming. You know, that was a good uh, good play by New Win, peeking out, making him uh, look right at him so that he couldn't get... Uh couldn't defuse the bomb, and then he kind of ran back inside so that he uh, had wasted his time. That's a big, big thing in CS uh, 1.6 and Source. Good thing to do is waste time. Is I'm also going to switch off of uh, Amps. They got a lot of camera time. I'm going to watch Black Dragon as he and his buddy Ja are rushing middle right now with Deagles. Uh, Ja getting a first kill on Crunk with a Deagle headshot, and Black Dragon watching right now all mid getting flashed missing a couple kills falling back to middle behind the truck uh, with his buddy DZK and now they're gonna get another kill looks like their their save round their eco round is coming out on top taking down four members only losing one so that's a pretty good save round I think and then his teammates just gonna hit him a little bit right there I guess they thought he was a terrorist uh, that or he just said Haha, I want this kill you can't have it um, it's actually, I'm gonna switch it off. I'm gonna watch uh, Amp's last ass la Amp's last member, New Win, who takes out Black Dragon, but then gets Deagle down by Clayboard. So it looks like that uh, Sweatshop's eco round really did was successful there. Really did work. Uh, was successful, and now they're gonna buy and let's see if they can hold it off with a score of now four to two in favor of Amp Gaming. I don't think Amp was expecting a Deagle rush down mid from Sweatshop. I mean, th if they knew how the economy works, they would know that this would have been the. Uh the save round for Sweatshop and to at least expect some sort of pistol rush going in to at least, you know, take some of them out, but some of them weren't paying attention and took a couple of digs in the face and that was it, it was done. Uh, so, that, surprisingly, they've done better with less weapons than they had before in any other round. Speaking of which, during this round, DZK, I kind of missed almost all the action, took out three people and gets grenaded by Z, and Sweatshop is taken down. Uh, Amp Gaming winning themselves around while I was talking. Look at that one. Bringing up the score a little bit more even, 4-3, to three, but still in favor of Amp. I think Sweatshop has uh, Bombsite A on lockdown. They, they're they holding it like a sweatshop. They're telling the little Amp, uh, little kid workers who come in trying to make shoes. They say, no, get back to work. Uh, you can't make any more shoes in this bombsite. Go to the other one. Um, that's kind of what they said to them that round. Is I'm going to switch it over, and I'm going to watch, let's see, I don't, I don't really know who I want to watch. I'm, I'm going to see who's going to get a little bit of action today. I'm going to watch Bounty, since it looks like he just hopped into window room, throwing a couple flashes down uh, into middle. It looks like he's going to walk right into the line of fire of Ja, and he does. He walks right in and gets headshotted by Jazz. I'm watching Ja now. He's looking at the vents as it opens and he's that's a good indication of uh, someone being there and he's just gonna pop up and kill Dripset getting flashed in the process but that's okay he got the kill it doesn't matter now uh, with a five on three situation in favor of uh, sweatshop here it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be tough for Amp to come back and as we just saw Ja with a beautiful peek down mid just coming out getting the headshot right on top uh, right there of Z as Krunk is going to get on top of DBZ and then JMR is going to get a double kill on Krunk and new win. So the score is now 4-4 four to four with Sweatshot really stepping it up right now as picking up AKs I guess really made them uh, feel like terrorists and then felt like killing people I guess. Well they're bringing the score at least even right now so we're going into round 9 4-4 four four score for both teams. I'm going to take it off from the angle of Black Dragon who's smoking up mid and eh, switch off from we might not see some action for a while so I'm going to check down uh, Claborn hanging out towards bombsite B, nothing happening over there. DZK hanging out near uh, bombsite A, throwing a couple of knees down Banana. DZK gets a nade kill, a blind nade kill, throwing it right down through uh, through Banana. And Dripset does get a double kill, so it looks like a bunch of the members of the terrorists, or Amp Gaming, 
are moving up through Banana trying to get to Bombsite A, but right now it looks like Krunk is the only member of Amp Gaming who's going up through there, so he's making a bit of a retreat and picks up his friendlies. AK Driftset returning this football throw, taking down Claiborne in return, and is now move rotating. They're actually doing a great rotate right down bombsite B, and it looks like a successful fake towards A. Uh, Amp Gaming kind of broke their ankles on this part, and here goes Driftset planted the bomb. And Mama's now down. Here comes the CT from Library. He's just got hit down to 36 health, but is now taking up defensive positions inside the bomb site. And we got a 3v2 situation in favor of Amp Gaming, and JMR taking out Krunk right next to mid. And the CTs are trying to move in, and Ant Gaming does take down DZK. Here comes Dri uh, Dripset trying to go around the corner to take the JMR. JMR takes him out, and Bounty kills JMR in return, bringing the score 5-4 to four in favor of Amp. You know, it was an excellent try by uh, Sweatshop right there with a try to clutch round, kind of trying to take him back. Um, though it did seem like Amp Gaming did put their Pumas on and just booked it. Uh, right as after the they noticed that the CTs had rotated. So I'm going to watch this from New Win as he's kind of sitting in middle right now, about to get flashed by his teammate, which he just did. It was kind of a partial flash, so it's not that bad. Looks like he's going to be working up Banana, uh, as usual. Um, doesn't look like he's going to be running into any CTs. I don't see any on my mini-map that are peeking, so it's a good sign for New Win as he's just kind of slowly peeking, walking, wondering if someone's going to be there. And I actually have something in my eye, and that really hurts. I'm <laughs> sorry. But anyway, <laughs> as I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it off. As I'm gonna find our bomb carrier, who's Z. Uh, he's working up middle right now. He's getting traded back for Black Dragon, avenging Bounty, saying, "I'm sorry that you died. I'll kill the guy that killed you." Jag getting a kill on Dripset. Looks like they're gonna be running up Banana now. Uh, as two CTs are still in bomb site A and two are in bomb site B, but one's rotating. And JMR is gonna get a headshot up on New Win, holding his bomb site. And it looks like Z is gonna come in and kill him. And DZK is gonna take on Krunk, and now Z is the last member alive for the CT, for excuse me, for the terrorist side. Uh, he has the bomb, he's gotta get it down, but he's gonna be surrounded here in a couple minutes as he's flashed now, uh, hiding behind these try boxes right now. I don't really think that was a good spot to sit in, considering he's now surrounded, but then he goes out to try to plant the bomb, and unfortunately Jad just shoots him in the head and says, your head's coming off, and uh, it's gonna stay on the floor. Because that's where it belongs. That's that's where you should be. You should bite the curb. That was a little rough. I'm sorry. That was terribly rough. And Amp Gaming did try to do a good fake. They did have three people heading towards B. Uh, especially even after showing that the bomb carrier was at mid. And then f try to fake their way towards A. But the fake was unsuccessful. Horribly. And then take it out Jaren. Who gets a nice burst headshot into Dripset's face. Taking him down at the beginning of the round. About to, about to check down through City. And he sees that another... Uh, Terrace is hanging out over there next to mid, so he's now trying to chase him down, but he did hurt himself a little bit on the jump. Takes down Z with a nice AK headshot, so he's already taken on two people on his own, and gets needed down to 23 health, so he's extremely low. Ant Gaming seems to be on the move towards Bananas. I'm going to switch over to Krunk, and who's trying to move towards Bombsite B, and he's now getting flashed and shot, and DZK takes him down. And right now, Bounty's trying to rush into the Bombsite 2, and DZK takes him down as well, so another good round by Sweatshop, bringing the total score to 6-5. and five. You know, a 7-5 half is not bad for Amp Gaming, especially on the CT-sided map. Well, it's CT-sided in my opinion, as it is CT-sided in its counterpart uh, in 1.6, which is my uh, my game. It's my home originated. Um, but anyway, we're, we're in source right now. So I'm going to watch New Yin, as it looks like we got a three-man rush up to middle right now as we're flashed. Can't really see any action, but Black Dragon certainly can, as he's taking on Dipset and then Ja on top of Bounty. And it looks like we're going to be seeing a little bit of a fake through CT spawn, as Krunk takes out two members of Sweatshop right there. And the bomb is going to be planted in Bombsite B right now, as we switch over to some of the takers here as BK, uh, excuse me, B. BKS, also known as Sweatshop. I really don't know why they have BKS. It's throwing me off a little bit. As we're going to watch DKZ try to take back Bombsite B right now. As he's working through library, notice the books. Yes, those are books over there. Reading is fun, but watching Ponish TV is more. Uh, more fun. I was going to say funner, but funner is not a word. Uh, DKZ getting flashed and smoked right now. Coming into the Bombsite, just getting taken out with a quick, easy shot by Z and then Krunk on top of JMR. So it looks like the score for this half is going to be 6-6. Six, six. Um keeping it close, so we're going to have to see if Amp Gaming can step up their defense and hold off some more rounds to take this map. Uh, let's pass it over quickly to Brandon the Borg Freeman for some shout-outs. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see, we got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 8, uh, we need some more though, 
uh, let me tell you how to do that. Um, Poundpointers.tv, irc.gamesurge.net. You see me. I'm PTV, T E H B 0 R G, something like that. Shout outs. Send me a message. I'll say it on the air. It's really that simple. I don't understand how only eight people can get it out of 200 people, 240, 300, 360. Anyways, uh, let's start it off real quick because they seem they're going pretty quick on their SS round. I don't know if that says. Anyways, uh, Pash Dizzle says Leo likes naked gaming. I hope that's a clan and not gaming naked. Uh, the X Tech, shout outs to all my homies in Complexity and my main home bio, Heaton from SK, my other homie Potty and Big Shag. CR Russian says, I am taking challenges to fight people at Vanland. Just let everyone know. Our own Punish TV, Matt G, shout out to my gaming glove and the stash of small bunnies I keep in my closet who make my day wonderful. Also, drop me a fat you. LOL. Don't know what that means. Uh, Tech D Epiphany, bring back the Borg for the play by play. I don't support Pound Tech D. Uh, I think we're ready for LO3, so I'm going to give it back to you guys to go play by play. Anyways, here we go. Sweet. And, uh, man, my throat is still killing me. Singing rock band for almost eight hours straight will kill you. <laughs> Uh man. So six six score at the beginning of the half, and uh, I don't. I think right now the advantage is about to go towards amped gaming, because uh, being that the map is CT sided, it might make this half uh, round. I don't know a seven. F yeah, they might get to seven first. Uh, well, definitely, but I, I would say probably seven three for them by this point. But gonna check out the action. From the angle of Nguyen, or Nugin, or Guyen, however people decide to pronounce it. Nugits. Nugits. I love Nugits, whatever. <laughs> As I'm going to check out, <laughs> I'm gonna check out Nguyen right now, who's playing next to mid, and he's actually getting a couple of nades thrown at him, and one hits him directly, bringing him down to 54 health. And he does have a teammate who's at the other side, just kind of standing there waiting for a couple of T's to push right through the mid. And right now it looks like four uh, terrorists are about to start moving through. He's still peeking. It looks like someone is about to move through any second now. It's kind of a tense moment. They're waiting to go out right now. And there goes Nugent taking on the first kill of DZK. Jeff follows up by taking Nugent out right there for return. Those are doing the V, or Z, sorry, who's uh, sticking out next in... Uh, for Ant Gaming at mid, but gets taken down by JMR. Black Dragon, I'm watching right now, is the Bomb Care. About to start moving towards Bomb Site B. It's starting to move in, and Bounty takes him out. Taking on, uh, actually takes on JMR. Black Dragon takes on Bounty Return, and Jad taking on Grip Set. So now we've got a 1v3 in favor of Sweatshop. We're going to take out Crunk right now, who's uh, at 100 health and an M4, so he does have a good bit of a health advantage, considering everybody in Sweatshop is currently wounded inside the Bomb Site, except for one person. Who's Black Dragon? Crunk about to start peeking into the site. Might try to get a pick off or two over here. Uh, doesn't see anybody yet, but he is going to be surrounded. And Black Dragon easily taking him out. <clears throat> easily taking him out. Uh, basically, just a single burst shot of his AK into his chest, taking out Crunk, making the lead right now going towards Sweatshop. So yeah, Sweatshop took the first round, but as we saw in the last game, it, these teams are very evenly matched, and we're going to hopefully see some awesome fast-paced action here. So I'm going to watch Ja as he's shooting his Glock burst fire here in the alt middle, throwing a nade through the window uh, over there in the window room. As he's going to walk towards apartments now, it looks like we're going to be seeing a little bit of a split here at Bombsite A as he's checking the, uh, the vent, the grates, the awesome elevator doors that are just some for some reason randomly put in apartments is DKZ is going to take the first kill over at middle uh, on top of Nguyen and then Z is going to just shoot down Jazz he casually walked out of uh, apartments right there as Black Dragon is going to come back and get Z and revenge his friend Bounty getting a double kill right there on Black Dragon and JMR I'm going to switch over to Krunk actually since Claiborne just took out Bounty Krunk getting a kill on D, uh, D DZK there as he's sitting in CT spawn right now. Now a one on two situation here for uh, Claiborne. As I'm going to switch over to Claiborne since he's got 56 HP and he's the last member of the terrorist force left as he's just going to get taken out by Dripset. He walks right into the site uh, not even caring if he gets shot or not. He's got Kev Kevlar on. He just comes in. He shoots him down. He, gi he gives him a headshot and he says that that's my bomb. What are you doing? I'm going to defuse it and then 
we win the round. So Amp Gaming coming back strong as we saw last uh, last half. It's now one to one, seven to seven here in Cal Open Pacific Finals. It's surprising how evenly matched these teams are actually for uh, this finals match. It's always good to see a very close game. Uh, for finals. I mean, over here we broadcasted many finals matches, and some of them have been completely one-sided raffle stomps. I'll pretty much just say that right out now. It's just uh, pretty bad finals. I'm saying like 13-2 kind of thing per round. <laughs> and uh, I'm checking on Dripset right now from Ant Gaming, who's playing at Bombsite A along with a buddy of his over here. Uh, with an op in hand, and he did just dodge an op that was fired at him through banana, and new one taking on the first kill, killing Switch Up's Black Dragon. Dripset might try to peek into the into a banana again, but shouldn't risk it if anything. But there is one person who's going to be coming up any time now. Uh, doesn't look like it actually, so I'm going to switch off. And I'm going to check out Bounty, who's hanging on top of the door leading from apartments, and new one taking another kill, taking a jet, taking another kill, taking a DZK. Bounty taking a double kill, taking a JMR. And Claiborne is trying to rush right through uh, upper apartments into the bomb site. So winning another you know, round for M Gaming, taking the lead. You know, I, I don't know why, but I was just thinking about Thundercats again, and I think I'm more of a Lion-O and you're more of a Snarf. Would, would you agree with that? Absolutely not. I think myself as a Chitara. Oh, so you're a girl. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to watch this B-Rush here by Sweatshop. Is there, excuse me, A-Rush up Banana. Uh, silly. As Krunk is going to take out Black Dragon, but then Claiborne is going to get Krunk, and DKZ is going to get onto Dripset as they took this uh, Banana with little... Resistance right there. JMR getting Z and New Win taking out DKZ, DZK and Bounty taking out JMR. And now I'm Flash. Couldn't see that last kill, but it looks like we got a one on two situation here for New Win. Is I'm going to switch it over and watch him. He's going to take in a little shots, uh, getting naded. He's got 58 HP. Uh, Peak and both terrorists are in the site. Uh, set it up a crossfire, so I don't think it's going to happen for New Win. In fact, it is not as Claborn is going to come in and just. Just kind of roll him from behind. He's he's raffle stomping him. He's torn stomping him. Um, so I'm gonna pass it over to you, Chitara. <laughs> I am now known as either Mumra or Skeletor. <laughs> uh, you, <laughs> you are you are too much. Uh, I'm gonna check down from the angle of Sweatshop Jab, yeah, who's actually ru looks like a full five man rush going right through mid, and uh, I'm being called a girl from Eha. <laughs> In our IRC, but taking down Jazz, so he's trying to walk through the smoke, and New and taking down JMR, the first kill. And there goes Z getting a headshot into his face by, by Jazz, and, dra and a Black Dragon gets killed by a nade that, walk that pretty much lands right next to him. Um, still taking out Jazz, who's with the bomb right now, trying to decide where to go. As he's moving into bombsite B, uh, trying to duck behind the sandbags, and or cement bags, and haystacks, and random wooden or woven pottery. DZK does get a kill on, uh, on drip set and there to go clearing out the bomb site. Uh, Switch Up is going to get the bomb plant and right now it is a 3v1 situation in favor of Switch Up. I'm going to switch over to Amp Gaming's Crunk who's oddly the last member alive uh, repeatedly. Hmm. Amp Gaming's Crunk. Bader? Question mark? Mm, I don't know. I, just, I don't know. Uh, Amp Gaming's Crunk just got flashed a little bit, and he got flashed again, and he's just trying to sit there, but completely blinded, gets destroyed by DZK, so there goes Swipeshot taking in another round. I don't think he's doing his rotates too well, or at least he's not getting to the, the bomb site that's needed, that needs him fast enough. You know, speaking of woven pottery, I wonder if the... Valve developers said, hey, let's take a wo woven pottery class and put some in our maps. Uh, as it looks like we're going to be seeing another banana rush here by BKS as they're throwing flashes and nades and smokes all over the place. Uh, except Krunk is just going to take out four oh people as they walk in the site just hiding behind the back. Excellently done. Excellently played. Uh, Krunk just sat there waiting for them to run by and he took out four members. Huge round for Krunk. I guess it's repaying himself for... Uh, for being for baiting his teammates last round, he just held bombsite A. He said, "We're the sweatshop workers. We're the owners. We're the managers. You guys are the workers, and uh, you're trying to escape. And that's not how we roll. This is fifth. This is the work work. This is children in the workforce fifty style. All right." Wow, Krunk. Uh, I guess I have to eat my words about you know we have to eat our words about calling him a baiter. Uh, hmm. 
completely destroying that team during that rush. Ooh, impressive work. As I'm going to check out from the angle of Black Dragon from Sweatshop, about to start moving up into the, and through mid towards Bombsite B, probably. Jad does take down New Window, and Black Dragon is actually rotating. They're faking it. Instead of going through mid, they're actually going right towards Banana. They're just flipping around and start rushing the Bombsite. They did hear that a couple of CTs were rotating towards... Uh, Bombsite B, now they're throwing a couple of flashes, rushing into the site. Here comes Krunk yet again, taking on Claiborne. Black Dragon, JMR, and DZK all taken down. Krunk dies in the process, though. But he does, he, he does it again with this single man, A Bombsite defense. And a little bit of backup from the rest of Am Gaming takes on a bunch of members from Sweatshop. And now we've only got one member left in Sweatshop, and that's Jay, who's trying to move his way towards Bombsite A. And the bomb is down. I mean, right now, he might as well just save this M4. And buy his teammates a weapon. I mean, that's that's something. But it looks like he's getting chased by Bounty, but he uh, easily dispatches of him on the spot. Wow. Krunk stepping. I'm going to check out a score. What well, the scores right now is Krunk, wow, with those two rounds, taking the, the lead with a 9 to 5 score. Impressive work. He's going to win my Frag Dominating Award because he's right now dominating. Domination. I don't, that, you know, that was bad. I'm, I'm not even going to try to impersonate those old things. It looks like we're going to see another banana rush, so I'm going to watch Kronk see if he can do it once again, holding bombsite A for, uh, for his team, as there's one, there's two! Can he get, can he get three more with an ace? I would like to see an ace out of Kronk right now. I want to see him step it up as he's getting naded. He's down to 42 HP. Unfortunately, there's a couple uh, terrorists in back alley that know where he is from his teammates. Uh, Z taking out Black Dragon. JMR taking out New Win and Bounty. So, Krunk is the last one here inside a, uh, excuse me, a site right now. Can he get the last two members uh, to make this beautiful? No, Jazz is going to take him out. Uh, they kind of stared at each other a little. They kind of waved. Z with an excellent shot through the truck bed over there. Uh, now a one-on-one -on -one situation here. For Z, the lowest leading frag, uh, fragging member on uh, this half for Amped Gaming, versus Ja, the highest leading frag, uh, fragging member, <laughs> excuse me, on uh, Sweatshop right now. As he's coming into the site, I'm watching from Z's point of view. As he's looking over here behind try boxes, doesn't see anyone uh, jumping on this. Uh, I don't know what to call that, that water well. Is there something in my eye again, unfortunately? And Jed just peeks out from CT spawn side and just from archway and just says, nah, you're not defusing the bomb. So the scores are now 10-10, back and forth, back and forth here. Um, it's anyone's game. It really is. I think it's a clay oven. When I look at it a little bit more, it's definitely a clay oven. And I'm going to check out from the angle of uh, Jia from Sweatshop, who's actually rushing through the town. We're ready to throw a couple of nades up into the uh, upstairs into the window and not really hitting anybody because nobody was up there. So now he's going up through apartments, looking through the little doorway, doesn't see anybody in there. Might try to move over to the right, but there's no one over there either, but he doesn't know that. Peeks over, doesn't see him. So I'm switching over to Nguyen, who's actually playing over through mid. Krunk actually gets the first kill of the round, taking a black dragon. And I'm going to check, actually check the bomb carrier for Switch out to see where he's going to be moving. Actually, there is no bomb carrier because they dropped the bomb. And uh, taking on Jazz still, who's still in apartments. About to go drop down from upper apartments into the bomb site. Reloading his M4 before he goes in, spraying away. No, but nobody dying as of yet. Scratch that. New one taking down another kill with a... Um, a scratch on JMR. Actually getting a third kill, taking out DZK and Jem missing every one of his shots in the new one. And new one finally dies to Ja and wow, new one's also taking on Clayboard Grip set. Taking on Ja, winning the round for Amp Gaming, who takes the lead in this half so far with a five to four score and a total score of eleven to ten. So yeah, I'm gonna say this like John Madden would say it, it's the first to thirteen to wins. Um <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, it is very close on score, and um, it's really going to come down to who who can step it up and who can just start taking rounds um, one after the other. You know, if Amp takes this next round, I think they're going to have it in the bag. They're going to be one up as I'm flashed beautifully uh, off of middle grades watching DZK here uh, from Sweatshop. He's working up middle without the bomb um, here. It looks like he's going to be walking... Doesn't look like CTs are watching it at all, actually, in fact. So he's got a clear middle shot right now. He should just kind of step it up and walk through as he just threw a flash and his friend Black Dragon peeking the left while he peeks the right. Um, excellently done to make sure no one is 
um, peeking them. I'm going to switch it off since they're just kind of sitting here. I'm going to switch to our bomb carrier, JMR, who's also in middle. Sweet. Uh, excellent. As they're going to now rush it right up here. Uh, they're going left, left middle right now. Aziz going to take out DZK from Library. JMR trading back the kill, and it looks like he's, they're going to be taking bombsite B as they come in. Uh, new win taking out Jia and Claiborne taking out New win with a Kobe throw right touchdown whatever you want to say Bounty taking out JMR and Dripset taking out Black Dragon then Bounty taking out Claiborne with a win going again to end gaming so they stepped it up it's now 12 to 10 can they win this round to win the map and then we'll have to see it on Mill um, but it, it's going to come down to this round or the next one or the one after that of course that's another Captain Obvious quote right there and uh, that's that's for all you viewers out there. You know, I I am really loving these finals because Inferno, damn, my favorite default Counter Strike map, and Mill is my favorite Cal downloaded map. So I mean, I'm ex I'm ecstatic for the night for uh, for the Counter Strike map choices because it's both my favorites. And I'm taking up this round from the angle of Grip set is playing next to A, hanging out in the uh, the CT side, and and you guys are giving your shoutouts for. Uh, your favorite maps. Nuke sucks. Inferno Pro is okay. <laughs> now, Nuke is amazing. Eh. Nuke sucks. Check it out. Drip said still is actually rushing right through Banana. Actually switching over towards mid after going through Banana. Doesn't see anybody. I'm going to switch over to Jia, who's being the bomb carrier. And it's right now a 3v4 situation in favor of Amped Gaming. And Jia kind of fires a couple of shots towards the CT that he saw and another flash going off. And he's now trying to move towards uh, the middle, the mid side area. Doesn't see anybody, so just uh, rotating towards B. And here comes a couple of shots being straight towards him. And that was from Newman who gets taken down by Jia. And he kind of wounds the sweatshop members. Claborn does take down Grip Set. And Claborn also taking down Bounty. So now we've got a 1v3 situation in favor of Sweatshop. Let's switch over to Krunk, who again, the last member of Amp Gaming. He does not seem to rotate fast enough here. Moving through uh, mid right now and uh, trying to get towards the bomb site. Get, just getting repeatedly flashed by the rest of his teammates. He does get a good shot off on Claborn to get him out with a single burst shot to the face. Trying to get to the bomb as fast as he possibly can. Spraying up, taking on Black Dragon so he does get two of the kills. Might be clutch it. He's trying to get the bomb defused and no. Jack comes from right from behind him and takes him out and the bomb explodes all over the place. And it could possibly say Krunk might be baiting his team. Did, did you just say explodes? Yes, like, it, was that an it exploded. X? Yes, it's on an X. Oh God! Oh God! That's oh, God. that's uh, oh, God. that's Spanish for uh, exploding. Oh, thank, thanks, <laughs> thank you for <laughs> translating, Borg. I didn't know what he was saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, unfortunately for Krunk, he doesn't. Um, he wasn't able to do it. Uh, he was sitting in the A bomb site as all of his teammates just died and only rotated when the bomb was planted. Unfortunately, not a smart move by him. I feel like he could have done a lot better. Uh, I'm going to watch Jazz. as it looks like we're going to be seeing the bomb coming up banana uh, right now into a bomb site as he's flashing over. Uh, let's see if maybe, maybe he'll get taken down by Krunk. Maybe Krunk will actually do something this time as Jazz coming into the bomb site, checking in the back, Dripset taking out Jazz and Krunk taking out Claborn and then Dripset again on top of Black Dragon. So their A site hold is good. The bomb is down. Uh, so I'm going to switch over to Z as he's coming in right now from truck side, getting flashed. New win taking out DZK, and then Krunk on top of JMR. So Amped is again leading 13-11, um, to 11. I believe that's game. Yes, that is game. I'm sorry, 7-5 <laughs> uh, in favor of Amped Gaming. I forgot we were playing Source. I thought we were playing 1.6, you know. Games to 16. So uh, now we're changing to Mill. Uh, great game. So, you know, we got time for some more shout outs. Um, so, Borg, why don't you take it away? Oh, I've been waiting for this one. I've been waiting over here, sitting uh, naked gaming, watching you guys, enjoying myself. Anyways, uh, panpointers.tv, irc.gameservice.net. Uh, we got some, but I need some more because we have a whole other map to go through. So, how in the world are we going to even, you know, fill in little blank spots. Anyways, um, J Trev says, shout out to J Trev. He's back after five seasons off. Uh, Amp Gaming Ryota. <coughs> shout out to Amp Gaming, Crunk, Nguyen, and Dripset. Asian for life. Ha ha. Um, <coughs> I know an Asian. He's awesome. Um, 
<clears throat> Dizzy Dean downstairs. Shout out to Jesus for leading us to glory, and to the creators of Wow and D O T, capital A. Um, Dota. 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 I know Dota. what it is. I'm just spelling it out. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> moving, moving forward through my tabs, Elijah. Do a shout out to Bounty Z and widescreen from Elijah. Smiley face. We were teammates, is what he says. So that's that's kind of cool. Uh, this one is from a person who wishes to remain nameless. Uh, he says, "Can you shout out this question mark? MySpace.com/slash freezer with ph." He forced me to PMU. LOL. So, whatever that means. <coughs> I haven't been there yet, but I'm pretty sure it's clean. I'm just kidding. I went there. I went there first to make sure it was okay for all you guys. I mean, come on. You can trust me. I'm Borg. Friendly neighborhood Borg. All right. <coughs> Keep going. So, uh, CEO. So, everyone should send Borg links to, like, Meat Spin or all those awesome <laughs> sites because you know party. he'll click on it first. <laughs> Bro, I will two girls, one cup. Bad stuff. Whoa, bad stuff. whoa! D does anybody, uh, if you can, get over here quick to T-spawn at this advertisement? There's a hand, bloody all just changed. The hand was bloody all over this keyboard, and all I'm gonna say is that that's what happens when you don't have a gaming glove. I mean, you play so hard that your hand just combusts. God. Wow. So, Wari. <laughs> <laughs> Dota. Yes. What about Dota? Vite no spielen like Dota. Yo tango un gato in mis pantalones. <laughs> um, uh, Dude, the song Dota I got some from more. Bass Hunter. Come on. More. Actually, we can't have more because <laughs> we're about to go live in about oh, a minute. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. We're stealing your your spot, your your five minutes of glory. Although they lasted only two minutes, so we're going well, live. Well, as here. long as we get some more, we'll, we'll be okay. Oh, we'll, we'll be, be okay. We'll more. get some more. So the map right now, CPL Mill, the uh, Live on 3 has been called, and I'm going to watch it from the angle of Club Born is going to be playing through Bombsite A, going to be watching down Cat right now, and there's a bunch of smoke going off at that uh, the area by his own team, so it's not like it's, uh, it's not like, you know, enemy are coming up or anything like that, but I'm going to switch off him because he's just staring at boxes. Uh, I'm going to check down Crunk right now. I actually just got needed, so he's kind of making a bit of a retreat. And the bomb was thrown down on the floor, so they don't spot who will be carrying the bomb, whether they're going through A or B. Crunk is uh, moving up towards Kitty, and there goes Claborn taking out Z. Black Dragon also taking out Bounty. And uh, there they go trying to move around right back towards the bomb trying uh, in SA-1. Uh, not picking it up yet, and DTK does get a grenade kill on Gripset. And nobody from... Uh, Nobody from Sweatshot died yet, but here goes Amp Gaming trying to rush into the bomb site. New one taking on JMR, Crunk taking on Black Dragon. New one with a second kill on Club Born, and now they're taking over bomb site A, a 2v3 victory on the bomb site. But both of them only having three health remaining, and there goes a flash being hit in them. If a grenade was the, was right there instead of a flash, it would have killed them both. And Crunk, it's just ow, it's still sitting there, gets taken on by Ja. DZK follows up taking on New one, and it's going to be a defuse. For sweatshop winning the first round here on Mill, and as for you folks who are wondering about uh, the gaming glove, uh, Steel Series, our one of our sponsors over here, sells the gaming glove, and it apparently, because uh, I I would buy one if I could afford it at this moment, uh, helps you from carpal tunnel, uh, which <laughs> the professional gamer suffers from. <laughs> And, uh, hint, hint, he needs one. <laughs> no money to buy one. Hint, hint. And, uh, yeah, it'll help you from carpal tunnel and soothe your hand for uh, any any uh, fast-paced hand motions you might be having within competitive gaming. <laughs> anyway, I was checking out from the angle of Jahoo who just saw uh, Ant Gaming's bounty gets annihilated in the face, uh, who's moving towards bombsite A. Throwing out a bunch of flashes down Kitty, and he's then moving away from it. And yes, Warrior, I'm taking this round too. You'll be, I'll let you take the next two rounds, because uh, I stole your thunder. And I'm gonna be I don't want the next two. You know, fine, fine. Be that way. I'm taking a new one right now, who's uh, <laughs> up in the sewers with the bomb on his back, trying to rush his way down towards bombsite B. Uh, through the tunnels yet, just uh, with a knife in hand, because everybody runs faster with a knife, looking at all the spray paint and all this crazy uh, uh, graffiti, graffiti on the wall. 
caution, revolving door, trying to move into the bomb site. Looks like the bomb site was taken without me noticing. And Newman is going to be able to plant the bomb. And a bunch of sprays being hit into the uh, the sheet metal. And there goes Newman taking the headshot on Black Dragon and DZK dying to crunk. We still hear a bunch of bullet ricocheting off of the walls over here. So I'm going to switch over to Claborn, the last member of Sweatshop left alive, trying to move to the bomb site. Gets taken out by Newman with a quick pick from his AK into the face. Winning this round for Amp Game and bringing it to an even one on one. You forgot to mention that the gaming glove prevents your hand from spontaneously combusting while playing video games. <laughs> but on to a more serious note, um, that was an excellent strat by Amp Gaming. Uh, taking the A bomb site and then sending the bomb all the way through sewers. As all the CTs rotated out of B, they just went directly towards B, and there, there, there it was. They, they had the site, and they had to get them. They had to get the CTs as they tried to come back and take the site. Now, and in my personal opinion, bomb site B or bomb site two, depending on your preference of uh, numbering or letters, depending on if you're a 1.6 player uh, at heart or a source player at heart, um, it's harder to take back. There's, it's just so many angles that you can be shot from, and just you only have to watch. Uh, a long hallway and a ladder and some doors that makes a sound pretty much as I'm gonna be watching from Krunk as he gets the first kill on Claborn Black Dragon trading one back against Bounty as Krunk only has 11 HP but he's taken the bomb site uh, up out of Kitty as DZK is gonna take down Drips and JMR is gonna take out Z and then Black Dragon's just gonna spray down Krunk he had little HP so that's how uh, that's how it's gonna happen uh, Sweatshop taking another round so making the score now two to one in favor of Sweatshop um, Amped they tried to take Cat, they couldn't do it, but it was close. They almost had it. It was a nice try, little smokes. I'm gonna actually watch this round from Ja, and yes, Leo, I am taking this round, even though I said I didn't you want it. Son of um, a yeah, son <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm a son of an ophthalmologist. Yes, that's correct. Anyway, um, I'm gonna watch Jez. Op shot just kind of just hits him in the leg through the through the little sheet metal here at bomb site B as he's up on the ramp. Uh, in the site right now, peeking greats, doesn't see anyone, gonna peek down, I'm gonna switch off him since he's no fun, kinda just peeking, I'm gonna watch New Win as they're rushing in sewers, with his knife out, like you said, everyone runs faster with a knife, uh, wanna go for a run, bring a knife, it's a good thing to have when you're running, in case you trip and fall and stab yourself in the heart, that's another dark, dark nightmare that I have sometimes, um, which is why I don't run with knives, or anything for that matter. Anyways, I'm gonna watch New Win as they take bomb site B right here, planting the bomb, and uh, looks like uh, Sweatshop's gonna have to take it back. And they have a not a man advantage here with Amp Gaming having four members and uh, Sweatshop only having two. Um, New Win peeking, it's his teammate. So I'm gonna switch over to see where the members of uh, Sweatshop are. So I'm gonna watch DKZ as he's coming in from lower side, killing Bounty right there with a peek, flashing over, coming up ladder right now. Flashing himself, unfortunately, this would have been an excellent round if he didn't flash himself, because he would have had two, he has two, killing Z, are they going to be able to do it, is he's going to jump on the bomb, new win, taking out Claborn, and is he going to ninja peek it, excuse me, ninja defuse it, no, unfortunately, new win comes up and just gets a headshot on him from behind, um, so, traded back again, it's 2-2, two -two, uh, Amp Gaming versus uh, Sweatshop here in the Cal Pacific Finals, Amp Gaming, remember, if you've been watching, they won the first map, which was Inferno, 13 to 11. So if they win this one, they are Cal Open Pacific champions. If not, then we go to a third map. You know, I always see people making fun of Calo whenever they hear it. They're like, Calo, LOL, no skill. We'll only talk about I, M, and N. I. But I mean, these players are still pretty damn good. I mean, we're seeing some great performance out of both of these teams tonight. As uh, Speaking of performance, and gaming rushing through bomb, up spiral towards bomb site B, and right now we've already got a three v one. Let's check it out, Krunk who missed almost every one of his shots into all, into two CTs or sitting right in front of him, and just gets easily picked up by Claborn. Wow, that is some. Wow, that is some bad shooting by him. And there goes Claborn sweeping around the corner and just taking down Z. And the fuse going to sweatshop with Black Dragon getting the defuse, winning them the round for them, bringing it to the score of 3-2 to two in favor of Sweatshop. Oh, quick, fast round for Sweatshop here. What? I really... This is... I am... My mind is bottled right now. My thoughts are trapped in a bottle. What is BKS? How could this possibly stand for Sweatshop? I, I don't get it. I'm confused. Someone on IRC, let us know what BKS stands for. Please, 
please, I'm begging you. As Bounty's gonna get the first kill over at bombsite B on Jen. DKZ gonna trade it back on Bounty's. I'm gonna switch over to DKZ. Uh, B big kind saucy. Um, the Borgs, I guess, BKS uh, translation there. Sorry, as I'm missing a couple shots of the action right now. As I'm watching DKZ as he's up in CPL House, aka Crack House, aka Firehouse, getting an awesome quick two shot onto tr uh, Drip Set right now. Coming in to defuse the bomb as no one is left alive of Amp Gaming with another round going to Sweatshop. BKS. Big, crazy. I don't know. Tangerine crazy with tree a K? right there. Oh, the side man, note. it's definitely crazy oh, yeah. to spell it with a K. Wow. That's being, oh, it's completely crazy. That's like that's like walking around with ripped knees on your jeans and being hardcore and writing X's on your hands. <laughs> straight edge? Yeah, being straight edge. <laughs> As, uh, I'm going to check out from, from the angle of Club Born from BKS or Switch. I'm, see, I'm actually trying to read it backwards now and it still doesn't work. So, uh, Club Born playing through Kitty right now, and Black Dragon getting the opening kill of the round, taking on Drip Set, and Claiborne doesn't see anybody through the smoke yet, and actually nobody's going to be walking through the smoke anytime soon. Looks like there's somebody who might be coming up right behind him anytime now, and he does see a pit, he does see Nguyen, but doesn't shoot him. Nguyen just easily annihilates him, taking on Claiborne, and there goes JMR with the 2 dig into the face of Bounty, a grenade lets off right next to him, and the bomb is currently dropped at Kitty, DZK coming up from Bombsite B, taking on Z, and the bomb is currently dropped at Bombsite A. JMR just kind of uh, hanging out at the top uh, in bombsite A, and everyone's really low health at this point. And he gets sprayed down by Nguyen, and Nguyen get, gets opted by Jab. I took out Jab right now, pl playing as the opper for uh, for BKS, who's trying to deagle him down. And here comes DZK from bombsite B. Finally, gets to rotate over there and killing Amp Gaming's Crunk. And this is by far the biggest lead that we've seen during this game, with Sweatshop having a score of five and two with a. A score, well, a three-point lead, and apparently people in the IRC are saying that the uh, BKS stands for Best, Best Kept, Kept Secret. Secret. Yeah. Look at that. Apparently, Sweatshop was a joke name. I mean, personally, I think the funny names are the ones that stick with it. I know a CS One Point seem that I gave them the name of Zookeepers. Where zookeepers, where we keep the beast, that's our motto. Black Dragon getting a double kill, sorry to interrupt. And then Z taking out Claiborne and JMR taking Z and Black Dragon taking on Crunk. So another round going the best kept secret. I mean, who would have thought that they had this skill? I mean, in the last game, we saw traded, traded, traded rounds, and now they're just pulling ahead. But I mean, then again, Mill is a heavily CT sided map, and I mean, they're they're showing that they can hold their defense. So I mean, I really think Amp Gaming would, needs to get five rounds. Um, if they can't do it, and they go and this this half goes ten to two in favor of uh, Best Kept Secret, I think right there we're gonna have an issue, and we may be going to a third map. As anyway, well, it's not that much uh, of an issue. I mean, these two teams are, you know, fighting for the finals championship title, so it's not much of an issue whatsoever. And uh, Black Dragon actually did make some good work, uh, if you were watching. And you were, but uh, you missed it out in the last round because you were yammering on about the zookeepers, because I actually like the name. <laughs> and, uh, Thank I'm, you. I'm I gonna created steal the your name. Thunder. I'm going to steal your thunder this round by watching Black Dragon. He actually gets a second kill this round, taking a drip set, but Krunk... From the side, taking out two of his teammates, but he flips right back around, fires towards Krunk, but Krunk actually dies to, uh, to Jag. Jag getting a second kill off on Nugent, and Nugent taking down the Black Dragon with a shot on the back of the head. Taking down DZK right now, who's uh, playing from CT spawn, trying to move towards Bombsite A, and the bomb has been planted, and they're throwing a bunch of nades, flashes, smokes, and everything right at them, right at the one T who's sitting at the bomb, and they're about to just start spraying at him. There they go, DZK taking down Z, and the fuse is going off for Sweatshop, who is now widening the gap in this game, Seven to two. Now I know that this map is CT sided in my opinion, or I I, I definitely think it's CT sided, but this is a little bit too big of a gap for a finals match. I 100% agree with you. Amped really needs to step it up, show what they're made of. I want to see some. Uh, they, you know they should go drink some Amped, and maybe they'll be pumped. And maybe the, their reaction time will be a little bit faster and they'll be able to react. As I'm going to watch DKZ as he's sitting in the tangerine tree. I uh, wonder if he's hungry. 
because I, I am a little bit sitting here in the tangerine tree as I was corrected. Uh, two members of Amp three, two members of Amp Gaming, Z and Bounty, were taken down uh, over at middle uh, by their respective counterparts uh, playing middle. As I'm gonna switch it over, since it doesn't look like anyone's coming to bomb site two or B, so I'm gonna switch it over to JMR as he takes a headshot right to New U New Win's face um, in sewers. Excellent that I switched over right to him. You guys probably missed it at home because Leo's a little slow. Um, it's okay. Uh, it's a little acceptable. DZK taking out Dripset. I guess one person did come over there. And then Claiborne taking out Crunk. So another nice sleep, nice hold um, for BKS. Um, Ant Gaming is is digging a hole. I mean, I mean BKS is digging the hole and they're just pushing Ant into it. I mean, eight to two. This is a huge lead. Uh, Ant really needs to step it up if they. I think if they want any chance of winning this map. Well, maybe they could win out in the second half. I, as rare as it is, uh, I've seen it happen twice, ever. <laughs> I mean, it's just not not usually going to happen. And I'm going to check that on JMR, who's actually rushing through mid, heading into SA2, about to go up spiral and flanking them. Here he goes, taking out, getting a double kill on Crunk and Bounty. Great job by JMR during that rush, and the bomb is currently dropped at the field over here. And he does see uh, another terrorist hanging out over there, but DZK steals the kill from him, taking out Nugan from the bridge. And here goes DZK yet again, going through Firehouse, taking down Dripset. So another fantastic round the Sweatshop, bringing the score 9-2, to last round, buy up. Amp Gaming has to do at least win this round, at least win a round by this point. Unfortunately, I think for Amp Gaming this half is done. I mean, I'm watching Kronk, who's our UPS man now, and he is a Galil. That's not good. When you didn't do not have enough money to fully buy in the last round when you are down, that is not a good sign. Um, you really should, I think in my opinion, pay more attention to your money, and they should have saved at least two rounds ago so they could have a chance of buying these couple rounds. Is Jazz going to take out Dripset over at Bombsite 2? Excuse me, I uh, had a little burp there, sorry. Um, and it looks like JMR is going to take out Z over at Kitty, and Krunk is going to trade it back, because I'm still watching Krunk, who's now flashed. Um, and then Claiborne is going to come out and kill his teammate Nguyen, and then Krunk is going to take him down. But Black Dragon's sitting waiting for an op. It's over. It's over, folks. This half is over. 10-2. Uh, to two. Huge lead right now in favor of Best Kept Secret. Let's pass it over Borg for some shout-outs. Quick, read about three of them since it looks like we're going to be going live quickly. Roger that. I've got some for you guys. Uh, our own Pointers TV, Matt G, he says, Shout-out to Ori. I want your love on Thursday for COD Forecast. All right. We got one from Nebos. Uh, I'd like to know how they say Leo. Excuse me. I'd like to know how to say Leo is a girly man in Spanish. Thank you for that in advance. Uh, I'll get to that. I'll translate that for you in a minute. Uh, last one from Walla. He says, hello. Leo es un niña de hombre. Leo is a girl of man. That that could translate. Maybe. Maybe he is a girl of man. He's a girly man. Because Cheetah was pretty mannish. Uh, you know. you're, you're right. Cheetah was kind of a man, unfortunately. Um, did I say but Cheetah? Yeah. You said Cheetah, but I, I knew who you were talking about. Thundercats! Thank you. Thank you. Oh! Uh, oh! As I'm the leader. Yeah, exactly. Mm, snarf, snarf. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, good times. So, we got to see Ant Gaming really step it up here on, um, on CT side. They need to step it up, kill some people, defuse the bomb, and win out. They pretty much need to win out in order to take this this half and become Cal Open Pacific champions. I'm so excited. I'm almost speechless. I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. Um, it's really going to come down to BKS's strats on CPL Mill. Uh, Leo actually left and didn't hear us calling him a girly man, uh, so it's okay. Um, Leo Leo es un niña de hombre. I guess that could be like little girl of man. It's, it's, it was uh, a girly man. He was a girly man. Yeah, <laughs> I just got back and I'm um, barely uh, being called a girly man. But you know the game is live. It's not us. It's the fans. And I'm going to take this away from you. We st f oh. your shoutouts. <laughs> As uh, <laughs> going to live into the second half, we've already got Sweatshop with the dominating lead of ten to two, and I'm being called John Madden. 
Uh, I'm, I wasn't the one who was even talking. <laughs> I just got here. What's up, folks? Uh, you're talking about Wari, folks. All right. As uh, Jag getting the opening kill, killing Krunk over at bomb site B, and wow, here comes Sweatshop, absolutely dominating the bomb site, not even losing a single man right now. Scratch that, Jag getting his head completely cleaned right off by Bounty with an op shot. As DZK is uh, about to start watching the ramp side of the bomb, of uh, the bomb site, and Claborn getting a grenade kill. Nice job, I am over here, and looks like this round's about to go right to switch out. Black Dragon getting killed off on Nugent, and Claborn taking on Z, who's trying to rush into this face, winning the round, making the total score 11 to 2 in favor of Switch Shop. 11 to 2. Did you guys hear that? 11 to 2. That's a nine point lead, ladies and gentlemen. Nine uh, rounds Madden. in a row. Yes, John Madden. Okay, thank you. Alright, fine. I won't state the obvious anymore for you people. <laughs> in fact, I'm gonna watch I'm gonna watch JMR here in SA one, working towards Kitty, trying to make a move to take this round so that they can make it twelve to two. In fact, if they make it twelve to two then they're just one round closer. Yes, I'm being more John Madden. If they're <laughs> one round closer to winning this map. And if they win this map, we go to a third one. Like I said um, previously and previously and previously. Hey, look, there's the picture of this uh, bloody hand again over on the that kitty sign. I wonder if there's a cat still in there, actually, in order to call this kitty. Is. We're going to see JMR get some nades thrown his way, some flashes as he's going to come up, work, check out top of the boxes. He uh, he sees one, in fact, and Bounty's just going to op him down as he took a couple pot shots right at him. I'm going to switch over to DZK. It actually auto-switched for me since he's our UPS man. For this half, as he's going to come around, didn't pre-fire, should have pre-fired, and got his head blown off by Nguyen. Uh, Claborn, though, is now in the sight. Uh, going back to get the bomb as he gets taken out by Nguyen, who's sitting on Cat, Black Dragon on top of Z. So Nguyen is really uh, defending the bomb right now. One-on-one -on -one situation, and he runs away so he can't be killed. And uh, finally, Amped gets around uh, in in the first round in a while, bringing the score now 11-3. to Hmm. Now, I have to read this quote from, ne or at least, yeah, a quote from Nebos in the IRC, who... Uh, about, I don't know, 30 minutes ago, was commenting on your John Maddenness and said, Now, here's a guy. Now, if the bomb carrier takes the bomb to the uh, the planning area, they uh, they can guard it and win. <laughs> you, you sounded a little bit like Bush there. I Well, I, my throat's kind of messed up right now. <laughs> and I'm going to take it from uh, being a little... I wonder why that is. Rock band, man. Rock band. I've been singing the song Timmy five oh. times straight, trying to get it right. Is <laughs> uh, taking up from England DZK and Z getting to a double kill for himself already near mid bounty, following it up with the third kill of the round, uh, taking up DZK over at Kitty, and I'm taking out Black Dragon right now. He's trying to go up spiral, but no longer because his teammate J Mar just died to crunk, and the bomb has been dropped at spiral. And this might be the first teammate that we'll see in this entire match, and it is Ant Gaming with the teammates killing every single member of Sweatshop. Black Dragon be the last member alive, uh, no longer winning the second round in this game, or at least in this uh, half for Ant Gaming, making the total score 11 to four. Yeah, sorry I was a little late on coming back. Uh, I just had to talk to Borg a little in chat. He he said, Leo es un chica, which is Leo is a girl, um, not girly man. You've got to add the ombre in there somewhere, which is man or brother or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to watch this from Krunk as I'm now flashed, but there was some kills going on over there. Uh, traded kills, now a two-on-one situation, uh, not in favor of BKS, as I'm going to switch it over to uh, DZK, who gets shot by Z. So, quick round, uh, Amp really stepping it up, coming back, making the score, now 5-11. to 11. Um, They may win out, and we may see GG goes, or not. But you know, Amp, as counter-terrorists, have to def take the, take, get the bomb down, and keep it down. Or if the bomb gets planted, <laughs> they have to go and defuse it. John Madden impressions are astounding. <laughs> As uh, Ant Gaming, at this point, they just have to win out if uh, they want to take the game, or at least win. Well, well just win out at this point, yeah. Because uh, they don't want to bother trying to go into overtime on this map. 
Uh, so I'm taking out Z, who's actually playing mid right now, and he's uh, just a couple of shots are kind of whizzing right by him and not really killing him or hitting him whatsoever. Uh, so I'm checking out Black Dragon uh, from Sweatshop, who's moving up Kitty, and there is still a cat up in the rotating uh, cow sign over here. That's sitting around there, and there goes uh, Switch Up about to start moving in, and there it go, Jed and Black Dragon both getting uh, some kills over here. It comes Bounty with a double kill on Black Dragon and JMR, and Drips are getting a kill off on Jed. DZK rotating his way towards Kitty. Hello, Kitty. And there he goes, trying to take the uh, trying to take a shot off on one of the CTs that he saw at the bomb site. We've got a 1v3, and there goes some pre-fire from Bounty. Bounty getting uh, getting a good couple of shots into DZK. Dies to him, and Z from CT spawn, well, mid-side, taking him down with a headshot. So again, another round going to Amped Gaming here. Um, if if they go, if they win out, they win. Hmm. Yes. I, I really wonder, and I, I want to know if they're going to do it. Will Will we see champions? Will we see the Eye of the Tiger? Eye of the Tiger, it's the cream of the crop. I'm going to stop singing because I'm going to get back to the action. As Krung takes out Jail over at Bombsite 2, Bombsite B is Bounty, who I'm watching right now, is rotating over through uh, CT Connector right now, throwing some nades down in the center, trying to get some kills. As it looks like he's going to get two right there, sitting next to each other. Three, four, huge round. Huge round for Bounty, and I'm glad we got you all got to see that. Taking out two members of Best Kept Secret who were just sitting in a corner. I guess they were flashed. They kind of were looking at each other. Given, they were snuggling with each other. They were holding each other, trying to keep each other safe. And then just getting a headshot right after that on a guy coming up spiral and then turning quickly to his right and killing one, coming out of connector. Uh, huge round. Excellently done. Making the score now 6, uh, six to 11. Why, did you Excuse me, 7 to 11. Did you punch yourself in the throat when you got excited there? You kind of peaked on your voice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but yes, it was a great round for him getting a quad kill in that play. Very close to the ace. Couldn't do it, though. And they did win another round, bringing it to a 5 to 1 current score. Just to uh, reinforce what I said at the beginning of the game, this map is CT-sided. And uh, I, I, like, I don't think people can really deny that. But I'm checking on Jar yeah, right now. It's going up spiral, and uh, unaware there is a CT over at the at the firehouse, and that was Crunk who gets a perfect grenade right onto him, and he was trying to oh whoa Z was trying to leave the house and gets killed by Jar, yeah. and Crunk didn't know that that was him. He tried to go right back around and was faked out, killed by him, and there goes New uh, Newin getting a triple kill actually. He didn't uh, announce his kills before. Might get the fourth kill, but no, DZK comes right around the corner taking him out. So he was trying to snuggle behind the boxes. DZK about to get the bomb planted. We got two people with extremely low health. The next bullet to hit first will win determine the match. And there it goes, DZK getting a headshot off on Krunk, winning the round, bringing it 12 to, 12 to 7 at this point. This is the nail biter moment for M Gaming. If they want to win, well, they've got to at least try to bring it to overtime at this point. You know, Amp Gaming does have to bring it into overtime, and unfortunately, I don't think they're going to be able to do it. So I think we're going to be seeing another map here that uh, has not been decided yet. Um, hopefully, Nicholson will let us know what it is uh, beforehand. But I'm not sure. With a score of 12 to 7 here in the Cal Open Pacific Finals, uh, right now on the second map, uh, DE Mill, or DECPL Mill, whatever you want to call it, um, right now, I'm going to watch DZK uh, from Best Kept Secret or Sweatshop. Uh, I like Sweatshop better. I'm going to call him Sweatshop. As he's here at Kitty, waiting to see if he can work up and get a pick while his teammate is running in uh, sewers. It looks like they're going to be doing a classic strat. Uh, one coming up sewers, throwing flashes, and then two coming up Kitty, and then the rest coming up middle. Right here is we're going to see a bunch of action going on. DZK taking out Bounty and Claiborne taking out one. Bounty taking out JMR, unfortunately, and then Jay coming up and taking out Dripset. Um... I hope it's Nuke. I hope it's Nuke. I hope it's Nuke. I'm sorry. I just had to get that in there for you, Leo, or Chitara, or however you want to say it. Is DZK is defending his bomb right now. Unfortunately, missing two easy headshots uh, lined up members right there of Amp Gaming as he's flashed. Amp Gaming, Krunk taking out Cleborn and then taking out DZK. So unfortunately, BKS is not going to take this home. They're not going to win this round, at least not yet. Um, and then Amp stepping it up, making the score now 8 to 12. Are we going to see overtime, or are we going to see a third map, which is pretty much the same thing as overtime, except a different map? So. Well, except that there was overtime when this map, Amp Gaming, has a chance of winning. And, uh, you know, 
becoming the champions. And uh, I was wondering what the third map was going to be. And I asked, you know, Nicholson, the Cal uh, CSS admin uh, present at the moment, that it, uh, I hope it's not Nuke. And wow, off of the bat, Bounty with a double kill, and Nugan with also a double kill himself, and they're making a full rotate right down towards bombsite A, and I missed on the most of the action. I think it was, it was, it was definitely a save round going for uh, for BKS, and they just got annihilated trying to rush into the bombsite. So Amp Gaming is going to take themselves another round. And man, they've, they've, they're they really definitely biting their nails. They've got to win the next three rounds in a row to bring this into overtime. Will they do it? Stay tuned to find out. Ponish TV. Uh, anyway, I'm going to watch from Krunk since she's here. He, not she. Um, Krunk a Lunkin Lunkin. Anyway, sorry, I'm a little excited here as I'm going to watch Krunk. Uh, I'm really anxious to see what's going to happen. Uh, unfortunately, there's no real action. I think one person's going to be running in sewers right now as I'm watching on my mini-map. I'm going to switch over, actually, to Jazz. They're sitting in SA2, so I'm going to switch back over to Krunk, who's sitting here at the top of the spiral staircase behind a box, waiting for some people to come out. Here come the flashes, which could be signaling a rush, and here it comes. Jack coming around the corner, spraying, taking down Krunk. JMR taking out Z. Is BKS going to take this map right now? Drip set taking out one, coming out of doors, and then Claborn just taking it back. And gaming Nugent, uh, new win, excuse me, taking out another one, and now we got a, a nice little, uh, one on two situation here for Bounty with 100 HP versus Claborn with 35 and uh, JMR with 22 might be two easy spray downs if he can do it uh, let's see what's gonna happen as I'm gonna watch Bounty coming around the corner spraying down unfortunately missing as he just ran behind the box and JMR coming out from the other side taking him that's good game um, right there for the next map since there's no possible way that Amp could come back they're not gonna play out the rest of this half um, we're wondering what no the next out. map is, but <laughs> excellent job, no but, <laughs> hey, 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 get off me, okay, <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> uh, apparently Ant gets first pick out of a coin toss, um, okay, uh, and it looks like, uh, we're gonna be finding out what the next map is, so I'm gonna pass it over to Borg to do some shoutouts, but first I got one from my buddy who walked in uh, a little bit earlier, he said, smoke mad blutz, I don't know what a blut is, but, that's what he says, okay? <laughs> Alright, uh, <clears throat> I need some more, because if we have the potential, we, we've got another map coming up. I don't know what we're going to do if nobody wants to send me these messages and tell me what's going on in their life. You know what, if I can get some more, if I can get some more shout-outs, I'll sing a song. I'll even let the people in Ponish.tv, I'll let them pick the song for me, okay? That's how desperate I am for some more shout-outs. Let me read the few that I've got, because these people know how to send PMs and IRC. Uh, this one is from CL Keen Puck. It's kind of a long one, uh, but I asked him to kind of shrink it together and get me what he wanted. So here we go. Just to let everyone know, I own, and I will back up my friend Russian at Anlan in a 2v2 fight. That was from earlier on the first map. Be Cal I, no pugs. 10K is bad, and would Dizzy Dean mind having my babies? I love Schieffer Thomas. I also love Rivers. He rides scrapper bikes all day with his pet Mudkip. Moving on. Uh, CL Rush, CL Russian. Um, he says, uh, "Don't tase me. Eat my rabies, Mudkips, scraper bike, Jabberwockies." Uh, and I think Jabberwockies is from that. Uh, I just remembered where, uh, where I saw Jabberwockies. That's Come on, from um, the Ditch, America's Best Dance Crew. They're like the, the, amazing. Come on. Mm. I know. I, I, I okay. Know. Uh, okay. Uh, break uh, skate. Really should have won. Okay, I mean, come on. They were the only team on. They were only. They were the only team on skates. They were, yeah, there was also a team that was all women. Does that make them any more special? Absolutely not. I remember. <laughs> no. Jabberwock is. They, they were good though, right? I remember them being yep, really good. I was actually watching amazing. them with my person who's on my team, and they were they were awesome. Like they had that like that weird like mask thing going on, which I'm a big fan of. Like that old look they had going on. Anyways, moving forward because we're getting a map change here. Uh, this one is from 3XB Freezer, which I think this may be the same guy that was from before. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks to Team 3XB and Game Galore Servers for hosting Calo Finals. So that's possibly for their uh, team and their finals. So um, uh, let me see. This one's from 3XB Also's Temporer. Uh, you guys are doing an awesome job. You guys have to shout out for us if we're making the final in the future. So thank you there, sir. Uh, J Trev coming back. Uh, shout out from J Trev. Woot. Screw the college board. 
there. Go for it. And I love mud kips. Uh, moving on. Finally, we get one from Jericho, which is Leo's biggest fan, I think. Um, shout out to Leo for doing good job. Doesn't say a good job, it says good job. So, good job, Leo. Or Chitara, whichever. Um, let me see. Nebos, he says, and I agree with this one. I don't know about you guys, but he says, I want pistol rounds back. So do I, because I owned face. Uh, you guys have any comments for me on that one? Nope. And thanks for the shouts because uh, we actually just switched to the map Seasons. Because Ew. Save the rest of those shouts. Season. Season. Rusca remake. Rusca. Well, no. Rusca. Rusca's Ruska a season remake. remake. I'll get it I'll right. Right. That's what I said. Rusca remake. This season is a Rusca remake. No, Rusca's a season remake. Negative. Positive. And uh, wasn't. I, didn't Ruska come out first in 1.6? I'm pretty sure it did. No. Yeah, that's I'm right. I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah, it did. No, it didn't. I'll, uh, I'll fight you to the death over that one. And let's let's have a death match right now. All right, let's just my, do it. My server 1v1 in UT3. Let's go. Whoa! <laughs> why UT3? I, let's play 1.6. The, the game is my choice. The game is my choice. Whoa, why, why do you get choice of game? Okay, okay, how about this two out of three games? Alright, we'll do this. We'll Alright, that's after. fine, that's fine. We'll do this after. We'll I don't, do this after. I don't have UT3, though. COD4? TF2? TF2? I have TF2, I don't have COD4. <sighs> I mean, I need a third game. How about, I mean, what's up? Dodds? Dodds? Do you have Dodds? Yes, I do. Alright, Dodds it is. Okay, so after this, I'll record this, too. After this match, okay, it's going to be a best two out of three for us. We'll, we'll decide on the points later. Uh, <laughs> to determine. <laughs> uh, it'll be a special event. Uh, it'll be, it, well, Leo vs. Wari. Leo vs. Wari on three different games. Dodds will be our tiebreaker. And, uh, what was it for? 1.6? And I forgot the second map. COD 4. <laughs> TF2. Oh, TF2. No, TF2. TF, okay, so TF2 Soldier Duel. That's right. <laughs> Alright, that you'll, sounds good. You'll be ready. You'll be ready. Yeah, you heard it here, folks. <laughs> because uh, everybody knows that I'll I'll destroy during this uh, this match. But anyway, the game is now live over here. We've got the overtime, the tiebreaker game between Sweatshop and Amped Gaming here on DE Seasons, as chosen by uh, Nicholson over here inside the match. And right off the back, the first kill of the entire map is Black Dragon killing one of the members of Amped Gaming. New win ta uh, taking ret uh, a return to get on JMR and yeah. Is, but is killed by Z and now the, uh, taking up DZK right now who's trying to move his way right towards bomb site B trying to rush it there as fast as possible is trying to decide whether he's going to go lower or upper uh, throws a flash bang into into the uh, into the upper air he did he actually did hit somebody with that flash and trying to run away throws a grenade nice grenade right into the upper B taking on new one is trying to get a couple of spr um, Burst shots into the boxes and about to start moving down into the bomb site. Bounce again and kill on Black Dragon. Z killing Kaborn and from behind, here comes Krunk taking on DCK, winning the round for Amped Gaming. Yeah, so we're going to start this one out with a 1 to 0 score, as clearly noted. Uh, Amped Gaming took that round with a nice quick B rush, planting the bomb. Uh, I'm going to actually watch Z as it looks like uh, they're going to be going B again with the bomb. Uh, switching the bomb back and forth between his two teammates, Krunk, and himself now, who has the bomb. He's going to be going lower B. Looks like he's going to be encountering a push um, soon. Looks like upper B person is kind of working his way around here to this long hallway uh, in front hall. It exchanging a couple pot shots here in long hall, as it looks like they're going to be pushing up slowly with the bomb. Tr maybe trying not to let the uh, ter counter-terrorists know that they have the bomb to call it rotate, which is another thing... Um, that I don't like in Source, actually, is the fact that it's very hard to see who's carrying the bomb, um, so it's hard to call that out in Rotator. And 1.6 is very easy. They have a big brown backpack on their back. Um, but anyway, so it looks like we're going to be seeing Z throwing smokes and now pushing up into the smoke, throwing a flash, and then falling back. Krunk getting the first kill of this round on uh, Black Dragon over here. Um, over in the middle, looks like a couple people are rotating out of B. Only one CT still remaining there uh, in the back in the far across the distances. The bomb's going to now be planted here at bombsite B. Uh, Nuyen taking out JMR. Uh, as I'm going to switch it over to, I'm going to switch it over to Krunk. 
Uh, since it looks like he's going to have a CT walking in as he's throwing a flash or a nade as he just picked that up as a flash. Kind of partially flashed himself over there in Bombsite B. I'm going to switch it over actually to Ja as it looks like he's coming in right now to Bombsite B as New Wins taking out DZK. And it looks like uh, Ja is going to have a little bit of a firefight over here with Krunk. Uh, kind of falling back, kind of not sure what to do. Seeing a couple, uh, sp he's spraying Z through the, what is that? Is it just a plank of wood uh, over there? Sitting the bomb said something to hide behind. He just sprayed him down, saw some muzzle flash. Excellently done. You know, not every player would see muzzle flash and start shooting, but smart ones do. So good round, 2-0 to zero in favor of Amped Gaming here on DE Season. Ah, still getting a quick drink over here. What's that? Uh. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. <laughs> mm. I was drinking. I was drinking water. Yeah, let's call it water. But I'm gonna watch it from the angle of <laughs> Gaming's new win, who is uh, in a bit of a one v one fight right now between a uh, one of the CTs and Getchy just gets naded down to 40 health and is trying to make a little bit of a retreat. Throws a smoke down over there, kind of a faking out of a. Uh, Faking them out and making them not sure whether or not he's about to run over there. Amp Gaming's Krunk taking out Black Dragon. Here goes Nguyen trying to rotate his way towards mid. As I'm switched over to the Bomb Carrier, who's Amp Gaming Z going up to the uh, up the, up the uh, stairs towards bomb site A and about to plant the bomb at A. And he's second out. Three seven seven three five five six zero. Plants it down. And he's got to switch over to JR. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes, I know. There, there's there should be an eight in there. It should be seven three five five six zero eight. Really? Uh, I'll I'll look at it. Later. I think I think there's an eight in there. I, well, look at it next time for me, cause I, I will. Yeah. I and I'm checking out uh, Crunk right now from Amp Gaming, who's defending the bomb site. And right now we've got a four v one in favor of Amp Gaming and Jazz, just kind of making a haste retreat. And apparently I'm being requested to. Uh, with my stylus or draw on the screen so people can actually see uh, uh, crazy looking circles and, and like arrows and things like that uh, for, for people to watch which we, which we can do but I don't have it with me at the moment uh, all I can do right now is text on the screen but uh, I'll get it for you guys later and uh, that might actually make our cast a little yeah, bit more exciting actually... but right now Ant Gaming with the lead of 3 to nothing in this game what, what are you going to draw us? Circles, stars, what? I don't, I don't understand. Uh, stuff. <laughs> stuff is his answer. Excellent. So I'm gonna watch Jazz. He's uh over here in the B bombsite lower halls right now, back alley, as my mini map tells me. Uh, <laughs> uh kind of looking in a little one on one, probably with Nuyen, since it seems that they've been having this little battle here. But it looks like um. It's all, still only one as he's going to get flashed. Uh, still has 100 HP. Bounty taking out JMR over here. And yes, it was Nguyen. Uh, Jad just taking him down with a nice little quick headshot. Now spraying down over here. Unfortunately getting taken out by Z here. DZK taking out Bounty. And the bomb is coming in to be bomb site right now. Get about to be planted at as he's uh, getting his back up, and what's the code? I missed it, unfortunately. Did you catch it? It's okay, we'll talk about it later. Later, But I did want to say, Krunk taking out DZK, I did want to say that you guys are nerds arguing about the Counter-Strike Source Diffuse code. What? Okay? That's, that's all I'm going to say it's right also there. The all right. I if, no, 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 no. Please. All right. That, that's all I wanted to say on that <laughs> note. And I'm going to switch over to Claiborne, who has one HP, trying to w win this round for best kept secret as he's just running around in the site, taking out one member, now going for the ninja defuse, but unfortunately, Krunk headshots him through the box and says, nope, no thank you. We're still going to be leading 4-0 to zero, uh, on DE season right now. I'm actually loving uh, JT Revs, uh, or J Trevs, I don't know how, how he wants me to say his name, uh, suggestion of during map overviews, uh, using a uh, styluses to draw uh, like circles and points and arrows like kind of strategic arrows. pathways right, strategic okay pathways. overviews in overviews I understand what's going on but I thought like during the game and wow <laughs> oh new and taking out four members of BKS as they just rushed down the B back alleyway right there with a quick round uh, going to amp gaming with ZR top frag leader right now now with a score of 10 to 2, followed closely by uh, Newin with 9 to 2, and unfortunately Krunk has not died once <laughs> with a score of 6 to 0. Uh, so I'm gonna let you take this one away since I kind of stole that action from you. Yeah, you did, but it was def it was a save round for uh, 
for Sweatshop, or BKS, Best Kept Secrets, and wow, Bounty just got absolutely railed by JMR, missing the off shot uh, in mid, and switching over to Dripset, who's uh, trying to go up to, who's up to the top of the top of the stairs, trying to get his way towards bomb side A. He gets flashed pretty heavily right now, and he's trying to, he's making his way back down the stairs after getting flashed. Throws a nade in there, the nade actually doesn't hit anybody. And he's peeking out around the door, and he gets a headshot off on Black Dragon, moving his way towards upper A, about to try and clear out the bomb site by himself. Doesn't see anybody in there yet, though, but he is getting a couple of shots being fired at him. And it looks like a couple of, uh, uh, Whoa, a CT was rotating his way towards the bomb site, and that was JMR who takes him out from the CT spawn uh, side uh, of bomb site A. And here goes Amp Gaming's new one we're watching, Krunk taking a club born as they're entering bomb site A, and Z getting a kill off on JMR with a touchdown grenade right on him. Nice job by Z, and the bomb is now planted at bomb site A. And currently we've got a 3v2 situation in favor of Amp Gaming. It might finally be, uh, finally. You know, with, with this whole, with this huge win streak, might be, just be, uh, you know, winning the entire game. As we have been here for a little bit over an hour. And Kronk with a double kill, ending the round. Uh, taking on Jia and DZK. And the current score is 6 to nothing in favor of Amp. Amped. Either this is a highly T-sided map, which I don't think it is, because I have seen lots and lots of teams trade back and forth on this map. Or Amped is just Rick rolling right now. He's they're singing Rick Rick Ashley songs just up the wazoo right now, sending links back and forth, saying click this link, click this link, and it's a Rick roll or a raffle stomp, uh, since that's what you like to call it. As Z is just gonna get the opening kill here in uh, lower B alleyway or front halls and Nugan uh, just taking out Jail with an awesome two headshots right now. Now uh, with a five to two uh, man advantage here for Amped Gaming. Again, they're just Rick rolling these sites. Bomb being planted over in bomb site B, and Nugan taken down by Black Dragon. So I'm going to switch over to Black Dragon as he's going to try to come back. And excuse me, the bomb was actually planted at A. They're so good at this fake that they faked me out completely, as it looks like Black Dragon is still going over to bomb site B, wondering where the bomb is. And oh my God, we got totally juked, as nicely put by Calcius Nicholson. It was it was a ridiculous juke. Ridiculous fake. Excellently done. The score is now 7-0 to zero for Amped Gaming. Um, and Claiborne and Black Dragon are just going to save their save their Colts because they definitely have no money right now. They have not won a single round. This is they awful. They have no money. Absolutely awful for them. All they can, at this point, all they can really do is just try and... Well, I, I think this this might be one more round for them to, uh, to at least you know have some weapons. But after this one, they've got nothing for probably two or three rounds. As uh, even even uh, Cal Counter-Strike Source's uh, Nicholson over here <laughs> pointed out that uh, they got completely chewed. And Amp Gaming's drip sick in the opening kill on Jan. Man, Amp Gaming turned up the skill over here in this round. Wow, they are just completely do like dominating them. Uh, must be the map. Toggle on. Toggle. <laughs> well, I'm not going to be calling toggles or anything like that, but... Oh, I, I was just using it as a metaphor. Yeah, we, we will call it a we'll call it a metaphor for now. And Claiborne getting a double kill gets absolutely destroyed by Krunk's grenade. Wow, that nice grenade by Krunk throws it right next to him and uh, taking him out easily. And watching Jmar as the last remaining member of BKS trying to move his way into the bomb site from mid, and it does not look like he's going to be able to do it successfully since there are two T's who are over inside the bomb site. Oh, oh he does manage to take down Krunk. But he does get brought down to around uh, 46 health. Trying to get a couple of pre-fires off into the alley. He's trying to get a defuse. He might be able to get it. Where's the T? There's no one there. He ninja defuses it, winning the first round for for BKS with a ninja defuse. Bounty, I, I'm surprised he didn't hear the defuse going off. He had the perfect chance to walk right behind him and pick him from the back of the head. Yeah, that was kind of a bad job by them. But, um, but still, at least uh, at this point... Uh, Switch up was able to finally pick themselves around, but after lo losing seven in a row. Yeah, unfortunately for Bounty, he really should just turn his volume up. 
now or put his headsets back on because they were probably saying, ha, this is so easy, I don't need sound. And there Bounty goes as I'm watching him getting a kill on Black Dragon, but Krunk actually getting the first kill of this round on top of JMR. As I'm going to watch Bounty coming out of the door here over by Bombsite A, as they're going to be coming in, checking pit, not seeing too many people. In fact, there are no CTs around there as one's rotating a back, back right now. So I'm going to switch over to J. A E A, also known as Jams. I don't know why I started pronouncing his name in letters, but um. Anyway, best kept secret, Jazz gonna be, try to come up behind him, but unfortunately, Bounty just takes him out with a headshot. As we're getting flashed here from every direction, as I'm watching New Win, um, right now in bombsite A, getting flashed again by the last remaining uh, counter terrorist DZK, who gets knifed by Bounty. So I guess he <laughs> Bounty really wanted to make up for screwing up that round with a score now of eight to one in favor of Amped Gaming. You know what happened? Amped Gaming must have just sat down and put on their gaming glove. And they went from Joe to Pro in 3.9 nanoseconds, which was the break um, between the maps. <laughs> and, uh, wow. 8 to 1. I mean, this is worse than what uh, Sweatshop did to Amped Gaming last map, surprisingly. As, uh, wow, 8 to 1 already. We're going into round 9 or... Yes, round 10 over here, folks. Uh, only three rounds remaining in this half. So I'm taking on Z, who sprays down Jed and Sweatshop. At this moment, they're getting outgunned. They, they can't even afford to buy weapons to defend themselves. And here goes Krunk with a double kill, taking on Dragon and JMR. And the plant is about to go off in the bomb site. DZK could have killed him, but was just trying to strafe Deagle his way into the bomb site. He actually didn't get a single hit. And Krunk with another kill off on Claborn, finishing up the round. With uh, not a teammate, but four people left alive for in gaming, man, and uh, I missed the second knife that was called out over here by Nicholson, but nine to one score in favor of Amped Gaming, and pff, this is going horrible, absolutely horrible at this moment for Sweatshop. I'm gonna watch Z as he's going in the vents right now, going towards middle. Um, gonna see if anyone's. He's just spraying right now. I don't. I really don't think. Uh, best kept secret has any money <laughs> to even buy an off if they were going to pick middle. Uh, so that pre-fire, I guess, was just a precautionary thing. It's actually I'm going to switch off of him uh, and watch Claiborne as he gets the first kill with his Famous right there on burst fire, killing Dripset with a nice little one-shot headshot, which is actually three shots because it's a burst fire weapon right now. But it doesn't look like any more uh, terrorists are coming out. Nguyen taking out a shot on DZK, but Jag getting it back with an MP5. Like we see here, it's a broken by Z taking out Jazz. I'm going to watch Krunk, who's our deep uh, DHL UPS man right here, playing the bomb again in bombsite B. It's three, f three. It's seven three five five six zero. For those of you wondering, I just saw that. Um, it was a MP5 uh, Nicholson. Uh, if someone wants to type that out, since I don't know if he's listening to our cast right now. Um, anyway, Z taking out a kill on Claborn and Krunk taking out JMR right now, defending the bomb as it's planted with Black Dragon having a chance to clutch here, uh, only needing two kills to do so. I don't know if he's going to be able to as he just gets naded. Flash taking out one through the box, but unfortunately uh, he took out Krunk and the last remaining member, which is going to be Z, just took him out from up top. And the score is now 10 to 1 in favor of Amped Gaming. I had to link everybody in the IRC the gaming glove because everyone kept questioning, like, what the hell is this gamer glove that they keep uh, mentioning on air? And uh, it's probably one of the most ponage products that they that they have, other than the uh, 5H V2 headphones that I am currently wearing because they're completely sweet. Me too. And they're, they're awesome, aren't they? Oh, sounds so nice. I love the retractable mouse my, uh, mic. Yeah. I can just put it away. I don't even but use I don't it need it. I have a I have a professional mic for casting. So, you know. Oh, and, um, high tech, man. Oh, yeah. Well, PKS uh, actually getting the opening kill with an MP5 in this round. Uh, some, As you can obviously see, they can't afford anything <laughs> to, to going into this. Nant Game, you might get an 11 to 1 score in this match. As I'm going to check out Black Dragon, who's uh, playing at bombsite A, watching lower A, making sure nobody comes in from the mid area. D uh, DZK getting a headshot off on one of the Amp Gaming members, Crunk. Uh, doesn't look like they're going to be moving towards bombsite A. I think they might be faking it and rotating towards bombsite B. If I could find their bomb carrier, and there it is, uh, it's Z, and it is. They're actually completely juking them, moving towards bombsite B, and Z might get the defuse off, and uh, he just gets shot a little bit. Dripsick taking on Jeff and Amp Gaming with a complete fake, not heading towards bombsite B, 
or A, that is, and having Z by himself going towards bombsite B, easily taking this. And uh, it was corrected, by the way, uh, Borg, that it is 735560. There is no 8. So, haha. I, I know. I, I, and, <laughs> I stand corrected. I stand corrected. And Amp Gaming killing uh, the rest of the BKS members, winning this half 11 to 1. Wow. They raffle stomped, Rick rolled, and then still pwned best kept secrets sweatshop. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Borg, do we have any shout outs for this half? Hold on, hold on. Before you, you they go live again. Okay, okay, Leo wants to I, Leo wants to say something. I have to say something. Like I, I like reading them uh R C at the same time. Um like I, I just love these messages that people keep saying. Usually trash talking, but here's here's the, he's one of the best that I like to see over here, from uh, <laughs> Amped Gaming's Ryota. He says uh, they decided to put their tri pants on this map. <laughs> they must have came out of the dryer. Because um, I mean, I know. <laughs> wow. uh, it, this is going to. You know what? Bad. Personally. Personally, I'm just gonna call Amped Gaming Butter because they're on a roll right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're in your analogies. I I quit. I'm walking out of the studio right now. I'm done. I quit. Uh, I'm that. I'm I'm over with. That was wow, amazing, <laughs> pure solid gold right there. <sighs> okay, I got. I hope they're doing a screenshot. So let me just get some uh some um. Some shout outs. I can't even think straight over here. Wow. Okay. Uh, our own Matt G again saying, Shout out to everyone. I'm still sitting here on my ass and I really want a cookie. Um, all your base are belong to Showtime. Uh, Showtime is the greatest CSS player alive. Uh, throw that out there for him. Technique Nori. I love Max Rounds 12, Saturn 6, and Aerial. College Board is Test Suck. I don't like Keen Pock. Moving on. Freezer says pistol rounds give more strat options. My vote is bring it back. Also, long around time for sneaky fake strats. Team BG She Shaw it says She Shaw as if you see shells, see shore. Uh, he says St. Patrick. I am Irish, so thank you there. I'll just take that as a compliment to Borg. Uh, Jade Trev says. Good job to Antwing and Best Kept Secret. This was a great Cal Open playoffs. Love all you guys. Thanks to Ponish TV for hosting this great event. Thank you for the kind words, sir. Uh, back over to you guys for some action. Oh, man. I'm going to take this one away, Leo. I'm sorry, because I really want to see if Ant is just going to win out right now. So I'm going to watch Krunk, since it looks like he's going to get a little bit of action at Bombsite A according to my mini-map right now, as he's coming over to Bombsite A Hall, Stairway, as he gets into a little bit of a firefight with a, with a terrorist there, terrorist falling back, throwing some nades, and then Krunk is going to counter it with a nade and some flashes right now as he's reloading his M4. Uh, he still had a couple bullets left, so I don't know why. He gets naded at 54 HP as he's coming around Stairway, uh, shooting the terrorist, but not killing him, unfortunately. They're just pop-shotting back and forth right now. Uh, Krunk falling back onto defense, which is good, not letting them get the first pick and take the pick the round. It's DKZK right there, taking out Bounty as Bounty tried to peek into the site right there with an op. As I'm going to watch Jay, who just got taken out by Dripset. So now I'm going to watch DZK coming out of vents over here in middle, back towards Bombsite B. It looks like a little bit of a juke going on, but it doesn't look like they rotated out of Bombsite B. As I'm going to switch over to see who what, what CT that is. Uh, it's not Krung, not Dripset, it's Nuyen. Nuyen taking out Black Dragon as they're coming into Bombsite B with a little help from his friend Dripset over here up top. And then another hold, a score of 12-1. to 1. Um, one more round, and we have Cal Open Pacific Champions. I think that BKS is going to win out in this half, 11-1. to 1. And... Uh... <laughs> Bold choice. Bold, bold <laughs> statement. Bold, I, I'll put like a quarter on it. <laughs> but uh, out of all seriousness... I'll take that bet. Out of all seriousness... At this what are the point, odds? Uh, 100, 150,000 to 1. And <laughs> Sweet. And looking at I'll this... I'll take those odds. I am pretty sure Amp Gaming is most likely one. People probably seen this just out of premonition. Uh, especially after the first round, 11 to 1, and they've already taken down this first round, so they're making it 12 to 1. They're, go they're most likely going to win. As I'm checking out from the angle of Amp Gaming Z, 
who is rotating his way nowhere because Jay is coming up right behind him and shoots him in the ass and just guns him down with some AK fire. Uh, taking a club born right now with the deagle in hand. And the bomb carrier actually has one health right now. And they actually faked them out at this moment, and they're moving right towards bombsite B, and I'm going to switch over to Dripset, the last remaining member of Amped Gaming, who has no idea where the hell the bomb went, and is now leaving bombsite A, going to, towards bombsite B. Uh, Mike try to clutch this at the moment, and he's trying to get his way over there as fast as possible. Throws a grenade, doesn't hit anything. Trying to peek into the bomb site, looks it up or looks it lower, looks behind him, looks under him. Sprays a little bit and gets taken out by Jan. Looks like BKS wins the second round. This is their beginning of their win out, folks. <laughs> Just pointing that out. You know, like Cal CS Source Nicholson said, um, I think that they were cursed when they bought a shotgun and I'm watching ne uh, New Win right now who has a TMP I, I guess they just want to screw around now I think they they're getting a little cocky here though I really think they have it as well so I mean they do have the right um, winning pushing just being extremely aggressive at this point right now as it looks like we see a full out uh, A rush here by all the members of BKS with some Claiborne getting the first kill on the bounty with his AWP and Krong taking out two, Dripset with another um, so now we have a two on four situation here as I'm watching JMR taking out Krunk right here coming out of A upper stairs right now onto upper thing New, uh, New Win taking out uh, Black Dragon with TMP kill and then Z with a cross the map uh, shotgun kill on JMR and that's good game Cow Open, Pacific Champions, Amped Gaming Amazing playing uh, on DE Seasons, um, just destroying number sign amp gaming. I have to shout that out. Uh, excellently done, excellent, excellent match. Well, we can't uh, can't leave out pound sign uh, BKS for you know AK Sweatshop for playing a great match. Hell, even bringing it into a third map. They did a pretty good job on the second map, but wow, they've got absolutely destroyed here on Seasons. Uh, they Rick rolled. Pro they probably didn't practice on this map whatsoever. I mean, we we even seen them buying, like, basically the joke weapons. I mean, if I saw somebody with a para out there, you'd know that this, this would be just be serious joking. But, managed to destroy them with pump shotties and TMPs and... Ugh, wow. Destroyed. But, congratulations to Amp Gaming being the Pacific Champions for Kalo. And, Wari's actually uh, calling me out for some knifing at Bombsite A. But I'm not going to go out there. Actually, I'm, I'm calling, calling the Borg board. out. So, Actually. The folks uh, who are watching the camera will watch you get out. Uh, and right now, at the end, Borg, some shout outs. I have got a few over here. Uh, this is probably the best one that I've ever had because uh, Nebos actually got where I'm coming from. He knows my family. He knows that uh, resistance is futile. This one's from Nebos. Resistance is futile. Buy our gamer glove for gaming much love uh, uh, makes me feel eh, worry come on as I'm as I'm doing shout out you're gonna come and knife me come on that's childish man childish anyways uh, tech D epiphany ponage TV you guys are amazing we appreciate it we love you I don't support pound tech D this one is from la la I guess that's la la uh, anyways <coughs> he says we love you guys we love it, we love it, we love it. Nom, 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 nom. And I'm not sure if that's mouth hugs. Do we ever figure out if that was mouth hugs, mop hugs? I don't know. Mouth hugs? I don't know. Mouth hugs. Mouth hugs. Okay. All right. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I have such a great time with those guys. Anyways, um, last one coming from D Nile. Amazing, amazing. Trump D. Trump D. And I appreciate actually Wari knowing where Rick Rolled came from. So shout out to Wari for knowing the actual truth. Thank you all. Love, love. And I'm getting a couple more as I'm finishing these off. Uh, Sinister says, hey, 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 what's the PW to the server? I want to go kill yo ass. Uh, he, he actually made me put that little, you know, little, uh, what's the word? Uh, the Y? Yeah, there you go. I can't really. Oh, no, no, the accent. There we go. That's what it is. Uh, J Trev, love everyone at Polish TV. Good job, Trent Gaming. I called that prediction. 
Nice try to best kept secret. Best kept secret. Man, that's a tongue twister. Thanks again to Parse TV and to Cal for hosting this event. Uh, we got one from Technique Nari. Shark attack. Nom nom nom. See, everybody knows it. Everybody knows what's going on. I don't get it. Anyways, again, what's password damn gaming server? I can't tell you. I wish I could. We love you. Thank you. Back to you guys. Close it out for us. Well, I got shot in the face over here doing some pistol action over at mid. I got glocked the hell down. Folks, tomorrow we are bringing the Eastern, or Atlantic, uh, championship with, uh, <laughs> uh, bringing you the match between Marvel Gaming and Get Down at 8 o'clock, uh, Eastern Standard Time over here on Pwnage.tv. Um, you can come and help, actually help support uh, Pwnage TV by idling in Pwnage.tv, that'd be great. Worry, you gotta tell everybody about our sponsors for making all this possible. Oh, I would I would gladly tell everyone about our sponsors right now. We got excessive sponsored us up the wazoo right now with web hosting, anything you need from game host hosting, everything you need. Visit excessive gaming uh, excessive.com. They're the shit. They they know what they're doing. They're excellent. Also, Steel Series, the wonderful makers of the gaming glove which you all seem to uh, want to buy, the pure it's it, it is 100% pure gold. Well, it's actually made of fabric, but it's pure gold. It's worth gold because it's awesome. Um, also, to TG League, um, for great free games, free, excuse me, not free games, free leagues that you can win cash money on and some excellent prizes, visit TGLeague.org. I'm Dave Roy Willig, signing out for Leo the Girly Man Gonzalez and Brandon the Borg Freeman and Resistance is Futile. Actually, if I recall, I think we have a little bit of a battle uh, coming up as a special event. Oh, yes. Uh, everyone's going to watch me kick the crap out of you. Uh, Friday sound good? Friday? Friday? Friday sounds like an excellent day for this battle to continue and commence as I'm going to just glock both of you with some burst shots uh, right in the face. So then I'm Dave Roy Willig again signing out for Leo the Girly Man Gonzalez and Brandon the Borg Freeman. And I guess we've got a visitor, uh, a couple of visitors right now, 3XB Temper and Delay as we're just kind of screwing around in the server as this game is ending. Uh, so yeah, I'm Dave Roy Willig. And if you didn't see it here, it wasn't Ponage. Good night, everyone, and don't put your cat in the microwave.